Good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're all so well and that you had such a gorgeous long weekend. Um, I'm like not on form today at all. Uh, I am just trying to do, I mean, it's like four o'clock and I haven't, I'd, I'm gonna start this again. Okay, <laughs> I'll formulate something now. Um, yeah, it's gotten to like four o'clock and all I've done is feel really, really stressed. And it's really the first time that I felt really stressed about work, about the businesses, because we are such a little team and all we want is for everything to be such a success and so perfect and the details and the organisation and the logistics of everything are... It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work and I've really let it like tread me down today. Um, so I've had a little tear and some tough love and I'm gonna break from the work now and go to the gym um, and try and just enjoy that time, do some cardio, maybe get rid of this weird energy that I've got going on because I'm sure you can see and feel it as well. Isn't it weird how your whole like face and voice and everything changes when you're not in the best, having the best time. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'll crack on with the rest of the work tonight and I've done like the worst of it and you know, everybody who talks about productivity is always in the mindset that you eat the green frog, which is the worst bit. Or like my uni tutors used to say to me, how do you eat an elephant when I was doing my dissertation and stuff? And then they'd say burger by burger, not that we're eating elephants, but you know, when it's a gigantic task, how do you do it bit by bit? Um, so I did, I ate the green frog this morning, which was the worst part of the job. And then now I'm slowly like eating parts of the elephant to, to break it down into smaller bits. So I've only got some smaller bits later that are very like, non-brain taxing uh, that I can do after the gym. And then I think I'm just gonna cook something really wholesome and watch something really wholesome. Like I think Ted Lasso, I think I've got a Ted Lasso to catch up on. So yeah, not the most sunshiny uh, appearance from me this morning, this afternoon, but we'll get there and this week will be so much better. And I've got a gorgeous week ahead. Like I've got very lovely time spent with friends coming up with work opportunities, all kinds of stuff happening. Um, yeah, so it's going to get better, but today is rough and that's okay. It's just how you deal with it, isn't it? That makes a difference. And I didn't deal with it well today at all. I just sobbed and wanted to throw the towel in. Um, but yeah, I do feel a bit better now for that. I'm just looking at my tulips here and they absolutely sum up how I've been feeling. It's such a shame. Uh, I haven't even got time to replace them. They're just going to have to stay there. Hello guys. I... I just went to the gym and I feel marginally better, but not 100%. I went to the shop next door and they're really lovely in there. And But every time I go in, there's um, a really lovely man. He always gives me free stuff because I'm only ever nipping and popping inside for like a couple of bits. I The other week I went in just to get a CBD can, which explains itself. And he gave that to me for free. And then today I just went to get these ex these really expensive eggs but the organic ones that are nice and orange in the middle and he was like that's on me have a nice day I was like oh thank you you're an angel I must have looked on the edge because the reason I went to get eggs is I went to cook some open my cupboard my, all my eggs have gone off um which tells you how busy I've been because I've not been in the house enough to eat eggs you've got like a forever sell-by date at this point so I put my little butter in the pan earlier made it all hot and then was like right okay <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be so much better. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. And now I'm going to make some dinner and um, put an incense stick on and run a bath. <laughs>
everybody. Um, I hope you're all so well this morning. I'm feeling like a new person. <clears throat> I went to bed, uh, honestly, I think I was asleep for 10 o'clock last night. <laughs> I just needed the day to end because it wasn't going my way. Um, and today I'm starting my day with a class at Block in Shoreditch um, with a brand that I absolutely love that I mentioned a little bit last week called, I don't know, Ola. Um, and I love their workout stuff. It's just so good. And even though like sweats and big t-shirts and stuff are really amazing. Um, and so we're going for a class this morning because we've got a new collection out. And I'll show you it in a minute because it's on under this t-shirt. Um, I never get over how big <laughs> this contraption is. Everyone always says, what is that? But it's just the best thing for waving hair. Um, it's, it's by a brand called Mermaid and they are brilliant. It gives me a natural wave um, because my hair is poker straight. <laughs> it's very annoying. Um, but yes, uh, today I've got a really nice day. So I'm really excited to be just up out and it's sun shining, thank God. Um, and um, yeah, some really lovely meetings today. And then this evening, a dinner at Sarah Corbett Winder's house. Um, in collaboration with a brand called Wiggy Kit, which is quite a dressy dress brand. Um, and they sent a lookbook through and I was like, oh, this feels very, um, very not me, but I think I've chosen something that is me and that can, that will work for me. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And Sarah's house is an interior dream. So it'd be so lovely to hang out with her and the other women that are gonna be there. Yeah, I've got like, it's gonna be back to back, but all such nice things. And do you know what? My favorite thing about today is that I actually don't have any physical time to, to do emails or or be on admin duty. Cause I did it all yesterday, so it doesn't need to be done. But even if anything comes in today, I haven't got time. So it's really nice to like be that distracted that I don't have to worry about having another day like yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel much more like positive and sunshiny in myself today which is really nice and I was like well that woman's never coming back yesterday um oh these little bits at the back oh difficult to get so yeah that's me today I'll definitely take you along where I can oh I've also got a meeting with a brand that I've been obsessed with um for honestly probably like since I was in my early 20s called Tom Wood it's a Scandinavian um jewelry brand and it's so cool um and it's one of those things I could never afford to treat myself to any of it. And it's like a full circle thing where I've loved it for so long and um, they're in town and they wanted to meet. And I was like, oh my God. I remember saying to my mum, mum, I just wanna, I really wanna buy one of these rings. And she's like, can you afford it? I was like, no, she thought we can't do it then. And I remember that conversation so much. I was like, mom, <laughs> help me save. Um, so yeah, that would be so nice. By the way, like a couple of you asked about texturizing my hair um, and I use uh, Johnny's Chop Shop and it's called Brick Dust Instant, oh no, it's not, it's called Builder's Dust Instant Texture and it, it adds volume, but it also has like a dry shampoo effect as well and it is the best. Um, and then I go over it with the Got To Be, the really chic bottle um, from Schwarzkopf. Got To Be Sexy, volumizing hairspray. Everything I use is volumizing. <laughs> okay guys, I'll just show you. I don't know the stuff that I'm wearing today. So this is a grey mall sport t-shirt. I got in an extra large and normally I'm like an 8, 10. So I feel like that's like a nice big oversized um, size. And then not to be getting dressed, undressed on the camera, but I chose this set, which I love so much. I love these, this little, um, <laughs> what's that called? I don't know, this shape anyway, and it kind of mirrors there. So I really like this set, so nice. So hopefully we'll do something that, yeah, this will support me in today. Uh, but I got the chocolate brown set and yeah, I got size smalls. It's all quite tight, like the small is tight. Like I really had to like pull it up over my bum. And I, like I say, I'm an eight to 10, but yeah, um, it, it fits, it runs small. Well, the pants run small, but the top. So I'm, I'm small on top, but I've got quite wide shoulders. So I got a medium in the top in, in case anybody else is feeling a bit broad out there. Come on. Five, three, five. Okay, come back. Hi there, Joey. No, you can 
flex your feet. The reason why we do this is so that the hip flexors do not kick in. So begin, hands are behind your thighs. So ball behind you. I just finished the block. I don't know, look event and it's absolutely killed me I can barely walk my legs like jelly um, and now I'm on to my next meeting which I'm really excited about I don't actually know if I'm walking in the right way so I'm gonna stop this now and make sure I am mm. I like my outfit today um, mm. oh, a big bit of protein just came up my straw <laughs> Hello guys, um, I'm back from my day of travels. I just went to Dover Street Market for a meeting with Tom Wood and it was so lovely. Um, yeah, the collection's amazing, they're having a party there tonight. Um, to celebrate it. It's an exclusive collection that they've got. It's very, very cool. And I just thought I'd come on and show you my new jumper because one of my favorite knitwear brands ever is Navy Grey. And it's a British farmed knitwear brand that are all ethically and sustainably sourced. And she just does the most amazing job, Rachel, the founder. So this is the new collection and I have the most gorgeous like Oh, wool boxy um, jumper from her that's bright red and it's my favourite. Everyone always say, ask me where's it from, where it's from when I wear it. Um, and it's just like, I just basically got the updated version of the new collection. But this is a different shape, so it's a higher neck, whereas the other one's a crew neck. Um, and it's ribbed and it's like just really, oh, it's just so good. And it might, it's like, it's obviously like coming into spring and summer at the moment, but it's taken its sweet ass time. So, <laughs> we are going to stick to knitwear. I just love red. Love it. So good. It's so good. Really, really nice. It's just so beautifully made. It's so soft. So today, where it's been quite warm, you see the sun now as well. It's like showing off now. I've come home. Um, I have just been wearing it <laughs> in a very innovative way. <laughs> I'm joking. Very very much joking. This has just been, ta-da, here all day. And I had some loafers on and I felt like I felt like I looked nice to myself. So that's all I'm, that's that, that's it. That's what I wanted to say. I am tired today. I had a really lovely day though. I'm so happy and it's great and the sun's out. So it's all really lovely. And um, did I say lovely like three times then, which would, concerned me if I was listening to someone say that it was so lovely all the time but really the dying on the inside but I promise I'm not <laughs> I got loads of Marnie's work done today even though I said I didn't have time to go on my phone I had to take strategic taxis in between things so that I could be on my phone because things were pressing but I feel like I've got one tiny piece of the puzzle left to solve because the truck arrives on Monday to my house to collect all of the stuff that we need for the guests and bits and bobs for the retreat. So I'm really up against it because we have a bank holiday, didn't we? So I was like, shit, I've got to do it quick. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for one more thing to confirm, two more things to confirm actually, that's just reminded me, I need to go and email someone now. Um, and then now I'm just going to get myself slowly ready to go to dinner at Sarah Corbett Winder's house for a brand called Wiggy Kit, which I spoke to you about a little bit before because it feels a bit dressy and a bit formal for me but I think I've made it work with a beautiful dress that they've sent to me. Um, I'm going to put some heels on and dress up a bit and try not to fall asleep in my pudding. Um, but yeah, I think you that's all you'll hear from me. That's now. <laughs> that's, that's now all you'll hear from me. Wait. Yeah, that, that's it. Um, so, tomorrow... I'll be back and I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, I've got a nice day tomorrow actually. Nice day and evening. Got lots of evening things going on. Yeah, I'll take you to that, but I'll speak to you in the morning probably anyway. Obviously I will. Um, but yes, here's to having good days everybody.
tailbone, scoop, lifting up, slowly down, back into neutral. One more like that, up, scoop, lift, open, down, all the way, returning to neutral. Let's pick up the pace, up, lift, roll the spine down, find neutral. So in, out, lift, lower, eight, up, seven, tummy pulling in, strong through the shoulders, up, five, down, four, that's it, five, tummy pulling in, six, Good morning guys, I am in Richmond, uh, I've just come to see a friend of mine to do some training, we're going to do some outdoor boxing and some running today, um, and it's such a, I mean it's not very sunny but it's so beautiful here, I haven't actually been up to the top of Richmond Hill before, it's gorgeous, so yeah we need a little outdoor workout today and then just working really, later. Uh, yesterday was mad busy and back to back so I didn't speak to you much but you will have seen bits of stuff that I got up to it. I also ended up having some champagne in the middle of the day so from there on it didn't go well for me. Good morning guys. It's Saturday today and yeah I've had such a busy few days I haven't really spoken to you this last couple. Um, I am just getting ready to go out and have a day out for my friend's birthday. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I always just love the weekend so much because obviously no one can get hold of me on email so it's just honestly heaven. Um, just representing my uh, longing towels here, super super soft. This is the milk, nice and creamy and off-white which is my fave. Um, I also have, I have all the colours in my house. <laughs> I have the rosy pink here and they all come with a hook so it's really easy. So if you didn't want to like if you didn't want to hang it like that, you can hang it on the back of the door or anywhere like that too. I think it's very smart. <laughs> oh, I also have um, the Ray face cloth. It's a bit wet now, so it goes a bit darker when it's uh, being used, but, and that also has a hook. But yeah, my favorite. I shouldn't have favorites, but the yellow has my heart. Um, I also wanted to show you my bathroom storage because it was an absolute tip in here. There was so much stuff everywhere. And I don't know if I remembered to show you last time, but the amazing team at Firm Living sent me these gorgeous glass reeded cabinets. I can't remember if I bloody showed you or not. Anyway, look how much nicer it is just to have everything inside. Please ignore the mess at the top that I haven't put away yet. But obsessed. It's just brilliant. You can fix them to the walls as well, but I can't be drilling stuff in a rented place. Um, but yeah, buzzing. Love it so much. Hello guys. Um, I am ready, finally. Just washed my hair so it's gone. <laughs> um, I am wearing today my wardrobe NYC, like, oh, can you see the material? It's like ribbed and knitted boob tube really into a boob tube these days i just think it like elevates a look um frankie shop trousers which i always wear and honestly bury me in these because i wear them so often um they're brilliant and my bell is from ad i think i linked it for you last time yeah it's a good one really nice um i'm just gonna pop on my road lip peptide hayley bieber's brand there's been much anticipated in the UK and on the 17th of May, it finally launches here, but I was in LA and uh, I know I'm friends with the girl who does all the marketing there. So she sent me some to my hotel, like a spoiled brat that I am. So yeah, I've been just obsessed with it. It's so good. Lip peptide is so good. I tried the skincare stuff, but then I had all this perioral dermatitis thing happening. So 
it didn't go down well for me, but it looked beautiful on my skin. Like it was really dewy and like glazed in all the way that Hayley likes it to be. Talking about it like I know her. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna put my, this is also Frankie Shop actually. Frankie Shop bomber on. Cause it's like really moody out there, but it's gonna be 18 degrees later. I'm just sweating my boobs off. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear today. And also just my Museum of Peace and Quiet and Vans collab that I have lived in. They could walk off themselves. I wear them so much. Uh, I got them at Kith in America, but I don't know if you can still get them or not. I would look on Museum of Peace and Quiet if I were you, if you wanted them. And um, that is about it. So going for food, might go to the cinema later. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number three is out. And if for nothing else but the soundtrack, it's a very good watch. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. And yeah, that's it, just chilling. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to a barbecue at my friend's house, um, hoping that the weather is hold, gonna hold out for that because it's supposed to be really lovely. Or weekend, but who knows? So yeah, um, that's me this week. Sorry, it's, I don't know if it was a good vlog or a bad vlog. I just felt like I had a lot going on and there was not enough time to like chat to you, but let me know anyway. And I'm gonna be starting a new series too. So you'll get a vlog every week. And then I think it'll be every other week. It'll be a more in-depth fashion video to pull some of the best pieces from some of the best brands to show you what's worth investing in. All right, recycling. They do this at all hours of the night, by the way. It's just not appropriate. Got a single glazed ear as well. Anyway, um, yeah, there'll be a new video. I'm just working out how to edit it and make it feel really interesting and informative. So that'll be coming. And yeah, that's it. I will see you next week and have a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend and week ahead. Thank you so much for watching.